What's up, everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you with another review. Before we get into the review today, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on today's video and the sneaker we're about to look at. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already. And do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video on this channel. Now, the sneaker we're about to look at today is has yet to release to the public but we did have a, a shot drop on the nike sneakers app and i did hit on that so uh we're gonna get into it there's not a lot of hype behind the sneaker but here's a regular nike orange box or orange white nike branding on top and here's a look at that box label all right i'm gonna read it to you it says women nike don't glow premium and the color is white Team Red and Coconut Milk. This is a women US size 9, which is equivalent to a men's US size 7.5. Fold over box lid. You do have that lot stamp right there. And you do have your regular Nike, uh, your regular tissue paper, a little smooth on one side, rough on the other. Nothing to wipe your butt with. And you do have a green and white. YCM sticker right here on the inside and that's pretty much everything that comes with the box without further ado let's get into the shoe here we go guys we have the women's Nike Dunk Low they call in these the vintage red but the color blocking says team red it looks a little burgundy to me it got a little gloss to it is a quick little 360 of the sneaker uh let's jump right into it nothing much to it another nike dunk we're getting beat over the head with nike dunks in my opinion we just getting a different color a little twist here or there and bam another nike dunk but as you know i can't really blame nike to see the reaction to the panda dunk so if they're gonna contain about a panda dunks like this so let's see what else they'll buy so they're clearly capitalizing up on sneaker heads buying that product but we do have that team red overlays and you do have it on the uh, swoosh your mud guard and lace eye stays you have a white quarter panel decent leather right there you have a uh, sale color midsole or quote unquote vintage color midsole with the uh, team red at the very bottom which is uh, the outsole all team red Nike outsole and we're gonna go to the back of the sneaker you do have that Nike embroidered on the heel badge with white uh in the white colorway there is you do have a little hit of white going on right here on the ankle and you do have that team red and it looks like a nice leather it's the finish for me that's giving it that look that's why it looks burgundy, but it's like vintage and it looks like a real rich color, if you guys get what I mean. But you have more of that uh, colorway, which is team red on the overlays, your swoosh, your lace eye stays, and your mud guard. You have more of that coconut milk or sail colorway on the midsole with the team red at the very bottom. And we're going to look at the toe box. But before we do, you see it does come stuff with that tissue. And a little press on it. Basically, it's the same leather as the uh, Panda Dunks. And that's the reason why I don't own a personal pair of Panda Dunks. I'm not a fan of that leather. But that is in a white colorway on your toe box. You do have coconut milk laces. These are like the uh, speed laces, so to say. And that colorway these are the only laces these come with uh you have a white nylon tongue with a woven patch up top it says nike on it with the swoosh and uh the team red colorway and look on the uh back of it you got you know more writing you can read that at your own leisure you do have a team red sock liner cotton material and you do have like straight lines in it this is a little different I'm assuming this is a premium thing because this is a premium dunk. 
You do have a teen red insert in here with Nike branding inside in the coconut milk colorway. So that's pretty much the sneaker. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Will you uh be going for these when they finally release at retailers and on the Nike sneakers app? I believe these are releasing April 21st. Uh, if that's not correct, I'll put the right date on the screen. But uh, sizing on these, for the men that are uh, trying to get these, make sure you go 1.5 sizes above your men's size, because that would be the equivalent to the women's size. These come in women's sizing, so that's pretty important so you don't get the wrong size. So that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Is the women, the women's team red Nike Dunk or the vintage reds, whatever the sneaker community is calling them. And like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.